fighting dog. You know, she really took a lot of damage or such. Uh, now we're. No, let's leave Gwen here. It's getting more and more dangerous and she doesn't have armor. I don't think so too, she deserves a piece. <laughs> he just called me kids. There's probably more memories in this house. Oh, I like this part. I get to like click on everything. <laughs> a court with fresh apples. Fresh apples? Nobody lives here. Horrible memories. Haha. <laughs> uh, Granny has to do the dishes. Uh, he made meatloaf. And if he did make meatloaf, she was cooking. <laughs> Why did I laugh? That's not funny. Silver service. That belongs to my mother. Oh. <laughs> Just a bunch of... <laughs> Somebody likes it spicy and she... Well, I guess she does. Just a bunch of random things. I'm not gonna translate out of that. To the upstairs room. Oh, right. Let's see. Let's go into the room. Like, this door, no friends, don't open it. Nothing good's behind there. Yeah, I noticed it too. I'll the feeling, but I feel that we have to go there. Our destiny's meant to store. I uh, screwed up destiny. I mean, I have destiny. I don't there. Bro needs that is necessary. But I know what's behind the store. There's t it's oh, the kid's room. Don't you dare to touch your you beast. And who's gonna make you and your mean wife? My bad. Let's so go. Wait to see who's a fight. You bore me with your cheap anger. Quite a magical barrier, you dog. And King takes what belongs to him. Uh, I'll, find, I'll start with your dog. Oh, you, you can't. I'm not gonna yet. Quiet. Oh, he actually says woman. Oh crap, he's gonna get this to Doria. Deckwards why she likes it young and juicy. How about, how about you, Granny? I'm not your life. Without your family, you'll go down. And your colleagues know what you like to fight against me. These translations are hard. That hurts. No, I'm hurt too. No, I can. Uh, I know what, uh, what this feeling must be. I had to feel up me a year ago. It'll never go away completely, but it was important to open the door. It was for two yards. And now we know what should about. Sorry, it was. I'll stay in the inn. I think you should stay in your house here. Thanks for being dankward. No, Libra, I have to thank you. Uh, before I met you, I was just dead <laughs> as the new gang used to work. Good. Just saying that good night. Where the cake? Good night, Libra. Good night. Dot dot dot. dot. Sweet. That's why I didn't go to the end, because it doesn't even matter. Aha! Cake bowls. Actually, eat the cake later. I don't want to eat it all now. If I eat all the cake now, I'm just going to feel horrible later today. Hope you slept good. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the attic. Uh, sounds decent enough. Actually, move that aside. Two healing potions and two revive your finger dingers. Actually, I think they're called smelling salts. Uh, clothes, clothes. Lady clothes. Oh, what a smell. Shoes my size. Huh, <laughs> that's not... Why would she keep underwears and shoes in the same drawer? Oh, whatever. Nothing, nothing, just shakes his head. I'm gonna ignore this chest for now. Books, books, many books. Too much. Just more books. Useless stuff. Oh wait, a little box, 2,000 bucks. Oh! That is actually, that's gonna come in handy. And now for the last thing, the treasure chest. Kept, he kept all his weapons in here. Ah, uh, of course it's empty. Maybe Vanfrey took the weapons. Or you did it by yourself, Granny, in a different time. Or in a different dimension. What do you mean, Dankward? Well, it's obvious that Dankward to uh, read my things about the time travel, I mean time manipulation. And the result is, of course, what we see here. Uh, it's motionless. Your destiny, Grandian Libra, that takes into account that it probably took it a little bit further. He directly manipulated time, uh, which had massive changes in, well, time. 
What are you talking about? I even I'm confused. And I'm doing a bad job in translating. Uh, it speaks that you and Libra sh were supposed to live in this house, but this house is now empty, and it's there's ghosts, which are themselves, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that the king tried to erase you too, if he. Uh, so to pretty much try to seize ex seize their existence by manipulating time. But they're here. But, I mean, we are here, Dankward. We exist. Yes, I know, which is just what I think. He obviously only read his data as much as it was useful to him. The universum has specific consonants at some point. Holy crap, this is time travel plot right there. There was a vacuum. You two weren't there anymore. Okay. Gods, something, different consonants. There was some uberly amazing power that decided that in this reality, in this world, those two were supposed to live in that house. So that everything can go in order. <laughs> I'm a sort man, not a man of spirits. Let's try to do it for dummies. Yeah, try to do it for easy translations too. Okay, so he means that everything that we remember, the reality, that it's like it's supposed to be. Okay, everything that they remember is the reality the way it's supposed to be. But Van Free took the reality and tried to rob us of our existence, but he miscalculated. Because we are here where we belong, and we will send him to where he belongs. Whew, let's see if I can summarize it up. I probably can, I don't even remember what I just read. So pretty much... Everything that happened right now is Von Freed stole Dankward's t the papers about time manipulation, manipulated it to a point where Libra and Grandy were not supposed to exist, and at one point in the reality act they actually didn't, but for some reason they reached another point where they, some greater power brought them back or something, some time lapse or other. No, oh, you still can't buy weapons. Uh, some time lapse or another. And now they're here, but Von Fried doesn't know that they're there because he fought yet, he erased them completely from existence by manipulating time and oh whew. That was a lot oh my head hurts, but that's probably because of today. Okay, hey laser latin, let's talk to you again, because you're just standing there kinda stupid. Uh tell me about the city. Weapons and armor. Oh I'm sorry, it doesn't Oh, sad. I really want weapons and armor. How do I get those again? Oh, I think I have to talk to this guy. My name is Fulger, son of Falgur. You seem new here. Um, uh, I'm just guessing I'm coming up from Koenigsberg. So, why are you coming here? I have an armor. In do. Oh, okay. Uh, he has some shops north from here. Oh, uh, yeah, see ya. Okay. So he has an armor dude. Oh, right, this is the plot thingy. Okay, so I have to go back up there, talk to this guy. ka -ching. Yeah, this is the last part. I'm gonna stop this episode. So weapons. Oh uh, yeah, okay. I heard from a fort builder that he had an armor do. Well, you must have heard. Except for you know. Oh, oh never the armor. Uh, of course, an armor. So back to this Fulgor, son of Fulgor. What does it bother me? It sounds like something from Beowulf. <laughs> I am Beowulf. Slams door. Oh right, we were at the dealer and he said he doesn't sell weapons. Oh, of course it's powered. Okay, what do you want? Just a beer. Oh, sure, I'll get you a beer. Hold on. Give me a beer. Before I actually give, I'm gonna change this tune up because this one bugging. Oh, this one. Never mind. That one. 
Oh, yeah. That's Legend of Zelda, I know. Oh, there you go. Okay. I think that translates out to bacon. Okay, bye bye Zelda music. So let's go up there, tell them the bacon. Oh, yeah, right. Rank leaves and stuff. Okay, Mr. Raven Regain. Weapons. Of course, there's no blah blah blah. Of course, you can't earn anything. Come down the stairs. I'd love to. Actually, this took me forever to figure out. I remember walking outside and around the store and everything. Uh, hello there, Mr. Ninja. He actually looks like a ninja. Oh, a oh, Robert bastard to oh, every upgrade. Holy crap, that's almost all my earnings. Mm -hmm. Shopping montage. Oh crap, we should talk again. Okay, one last thing before I leave. Because of what is my idea? At the door, don't know what it's called. I can go back to the east marks and start up. Not really trash, but I'll use things. Yeah, I totally crap that guy at the gate. Oh yeah. So, back to the east marks. And let's see if I remember the places. Just one next to the inn. Aha, uh -huh, trying to hide, I see. Power gloves. <laughs> Power glove. Hits. Actually, it's not that bad. It gives a plus five attacks. Attacks. Whatever. Don't judge my grammar. Holy crap, what is that? It's a fog that I told you from. That's not a fog. Uh, I have no spe spirology. Whatever. That's rip ace in time. Uh, I don't even try to explain that. Actually, but if I actually go all the way to the right of the screen, you get a game over game. That's right, the fog kicks your head. Kionis, I am so taking you on. I'm gonna bring up. Alright, that's it. Let's do this. Uh, so. Destroy them. Oh. One of them ran. Okay, let's just beat it. Whatever. And here I thought one of the spells would already kick them. I'm sad now. Okay, that was one, that was one next to the end, I got that, and there's another one somewhere, I think. I don't recall. Do 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 do. Ogres, some orcs, or whatever, I don't want to fight them. Side quest with the... Maybe I should just side quest before I lose all my party members. Oh, that was a spoiler, I didn't say a thing. Well, I'm gonna stop playing here, actually. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop playing here. Um, next episode, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna try to do the ghost side quest, and then go on with the plot. I guess should probably grind my levels a little bit. 14, 14, 16. Yeah, I really need to grind my levels. Be at least level 16 or 17. One hour and four minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna stop now. I'll see you in episode six. See ya.